Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. I hope you are all doing well. So recently, I shared a video about the Infosys Springboard Pragati Cohort 5 registration and my god, the response was huge. So many of you were excited and I also got a lot of messages and comments with doubts. Like literally, so many questions that were almost similar. So I thought, instead of replying one by one, let me just sit down, record this video and clarify everything properly in just one go so that you will get a clear understanding of what this program is how to apply what you need to know and how the selection works so stay with me till the end let's start with the biggest confusion many of you are asking is april 6th the deadline to complete the courses so here is the thing no april 6th is not the deadline to complete the courses April 6th is just the registration deadline. You have to submit your application at that time. So, please don't be panicked thinking that you need to complete the courses before that date. Now, the next doubt is, okay, then what is the deadline to complete the courses? Good question. Actually, Infosys hasn't clearly mentioned any specific date to complete the courses. But here's what we know. They will shortlist candidates based on your course completion history on Infosys Springboard website and whether you have submitted the application form. So, basically, the earlier you complete the courses, the better. In fact, in a few days, you might even get an official email asking you to finish courses by a certain date. So, don't wait for that. Just start completing courses from now. Very common question is, I submitted the form but didn't get any confirmation mail. What to do now? Totally normal. Even I didn't get any confirmation mail after submitting the form. So do not worry at all. That's how the process is. You will only get a mail later, maybe a few days after course completion, telling you whether you are shortlisted or not. Now let's talk about the courses. Many of you are asking, do we need to do only the recommended courses or can we do any courses available on Infosys Springboard website? So, the answer is, you can do any course you like on the Infosys Springboard website, but you have to complete at least two normal courses and one certification course. That is the main requirement of this program. And to make it easy, I will share some recommended courses in the description. So, you can just check them out directly. And now, the big doubt, is it necessary to submit the approval letter? So this one is a bit tricky. Some of my friends got shortlisted even without submitting it. But a few others got rejected because they did not submit the approval letter. So it's not confirmed whether it's compulsory or not. But just to be safe, please submit it. Ask your college for the approval letter and send it to the Infosys support mail. It's better to be on the safe side, right? And you are also asking me to provide the format of the approval letter. So you can check here. I have provided in this video. And the another question I got a lot is, is this an internship? No, this is not an internship. This is an exclusive 100 days online training program, especially designed for women who is aged 18 and above. It is a beautiful opportunity to learn new skills through various online sessions, build your profile, and grow your knowledge. Is it online or offline? This is another doubt. So the answer is the entire program is mostly online. You will be attending sessions from your home but in the final week there will be an offline session which will happen at your chosen Infosys office location. And now the final question. Do I get a certificate even if I don't attend the offline session? And the answer is yes absolutely. Even if you don't attend the offline session, you will still get your certificate. I personally didn't attend the offline part, but I still received my certificate, so don't worry. And yeah, that's everything I wanted to share with you today. I really hope this video helped you clear all your doubts about the Infosys Pragati Cohort 5 program. If you still have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. I will reply as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and all the best if you have applied. So see you in our next video. Bye for now.